praise to Sri Bhishma Dev. Sutta Goswami said, Thus Bhishma Dev merged himself in the Super Soul, Lord Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, with his mind, speech, sight, and actions. And thus he became silent and his breathing stopped. Knowing that Bhishma Dev had merged into the unlimited eternity of the Supreme Absolute, all present there became silent like birds at the end of the day. So whenever we go to funerals and they always say, now we will take a few moments for silence, right? This is what I think about. Although I will tell you, when they tell me to be silent, I'm not really silent. I am chanting the Maha Mantra within my mind because I just can't do silence. So I'm silent, but in my mind I'm chanting right, like right now. You can't hear me, but I'm, the Maha Mantra is there. Thereafter, both men and demigods sounded drums in honor and the honest royal order commenced demonstrations of honor and respect. And from the sky fell showers of flowers. O descendant of Bhrigu Shonaka, after performing funeral rituals for the dead body of Bhishma Dev, Maharaj Yudhisthira was momentarily overtaken with grief. All the great sages then glorified Lord Sri Krishna, who was present there by confidential Vedic hymns. Then all of them returned to their respective hermitages, bearing always Lord Krishna within their hearts. That's a sadhu. The sadhu is that person who by their consciousness always carrying Krishna. Why was Prabhupada so different from everybody else? Because you sensed, oh, he is really carrying Krishna. Krishna consciousness. We saw it. We saw this. This man is glowing. I saw it myself. This is not an ordinary man. My first realization of Prabhupada when I offered my obeisances. Now I have found the living Jesus. I was so happy that I finally understood. Now I know what they were trying to tell me in Bible class. Now I see it. The real representative of God. <clears throat> Thereafter, Maharaj Yudhisthira at once went to his capital, Hastinapur, accompanied by Lord Sri Krishna. And there he consoled his uncle. Who's the uncle? Dhritarashtra. And his aunt, Gandhari, who was an ascetic. And after this, the great religious king, Maharaj Yudhisthira, executed the royal power in the kingdom strictly according to the codes and principles approved by his uncle and confirmed by Lord Sri Krishna. So yes, Yudhisthira was so gracious that even though Dhritarashtra tried to kill him time and time again, he still respected and let Dhritarashtra live and he let him live in the palace and treated him like a king. I, I cannot understand the mind of Yudhishthir. I could not do that. After all Dhritarashtra did. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So now we can have discussion.